I am live in San Diego at Copley Symphony Hall, where we're going to do day three of the Common Sense Comedy Tour. I don't even know if tickets are still available here. Maybe you check it out at glenbeck.com. This week, we are looking at the housing boom and bust with economist Thomas Sowell. Nationally, foreclosure filings have hit a record for the month of April at 342,038. About half of those new foreclosures we're in just four states, Florida, Arizona, Nevada, and right here in beautiful California. All this week, we have talked about how we got here. But here's, to me at least, here's the important part. The mistakes we made, have we learned a single thing from them? In 2006, after years of growth, the housing bubble burst. But it wasn't just housing, it was everything connected to housing. Homeowners wooed by low mortgage rates and inflated housing prices were set up to take the fall. All it took was the government and groups like ACORN calling for more affordable housing to really set the stage for an economic apocalypse. Wall Street joined in and sold bundled securities of subprime mortgages and sold them all over the world. No one listened to the warnings from experts like Thomas Sowell, scholar in residence at the Hoover Institute, at Stanford University explains in his new book, The Housing Boom and Bust. Virtually everybody has threw up a red flag. I even did a piece in the Wall Street Journal uh, in 2005 saying, you know, this, this whole thing could collapse like a house of cars. Uh, but more important, Alan Greenspan uh, and others, uh, the head of the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation uh, warned them. The Secretary of the Treasury under Bush warned them. I mean, Fortune Magazine warned them. Barron's warned them. The Economist magazine in London warned that everybody and his brother told them this wasn't going to last. They didn't want to hear it. And there, and there was, whatever the risks were to the taxpayers and to the economy, there was virtually no risk to the people who were pushing this. So where were the credit ratings agencies? Well, they in a sense did the best they could. It's just that the best they could wasn't very good. And they didn't recognize that fact. Afterwards, I mean, I understand that Moody's has now downgraded some of these securities that they gave higher ratings to a few years ago. But this is, you know, locking the barn door after the horse is out. After all of this, have we learned anything? Unfortunately, the, the, the politicians have no incentive to learn from this. The last figures I checked, the Federal Housing Administration is still making mortgages with less than 4% down payment. And when you have no stake in the, in, in, in the, in the deal, the, the f first time there's any trouble, you simply stop paying and walk away. That was the whole reason for having big down payments in the first place. Lately, Americans are seeing rosy headlines, looking for a silver lining. But when is this really over? Uh, when it will stop, nobody knows. Uh, I suspect that the more they... Uh, more uncertainty they create, the more the banks will be, and others will be reluctant to lend, the more uh, people with money to invest will be reluctant to invest. Uh, we've been through all this before in the 1930s. Are the government's policies going to help or hurt? Are we headed for yet another Great Depression? Well, the government is doing everything it can to keep us from hitting the bottom. The uh, problem is we don't know what the bottom is, and we're not going to find out until they let the bottom come in. There's been a study done uh, at UCLA uh, suggesting that the policies of the uh, New Deal prolonged the Great Depression by several years, despite the great myth that that, that was what got us out of the Depression. And I suspect that the, the, the Obama administration is following policies very much like those of the New Deal, and I suspect the result will be very much like what the New Deal produced. Which is to say, an economic disaster needlessly prolonged, but a political success unprecedented and that Roosevelt was elected four times. What happens if the economy continues to get worse? It may well be that the economy will, uh, will tank, but that it will be spun so beautifully that Obama will get reelected. Could the United States become a third world country? And when the bottom comes in, it may, yes, the guy who's sitting in the half million dollar house may have to move out. And it will now become a $300,000 house. And someone who can really afford a $300,000 house will move into it. Uh, it's not as if the, we're going to be have, have a country of empty houses and everybody living out in tents. With the housing market and the U.S. economy in the worst shape since the Great Depression, the economic ripple effects spreading around the world, and politicians who seem poised to make it worse, what does America's future hold? I feel very uh, glad that I'm as old as I am because I may not live to see what it will hold. Is that a hopeful note on which to end? <laughs> <laughs>